Hello everyone, greetings from India. This is Nirbhay Chauhan from Make Love Via Self Learning Tutorials. Well guys, today in this tutorial we will see the concept of composite walls uh, in FreeCAD BIM Workbench basically. So in the previous tutorial we have covered uh, the concept of wall cladding, right? So wall cladding and composite walls are sometimes misunderstood as the, as the same concept. Wall cladding is basically a kind of profile which is extruded or sweeped along the direction of the wall, right? The composite wall is basically the single wall in, it, in itself but with different thicknesses of material, right? So in this example, like, like you can see, uh, this is a composite wall <coughs> with this thickness of brick, cement and then the plaster, right? So we'll see how we can basically have such uh, thicknesses for the walls using material right so you can see here also we have created a, a s kind of 2d drawing so you can see all the variable uh, thicknesses of the walls being <coughs> drafted automatically right and the window which was cut through this wall is also cutting it nicely so that the layers of the walls <coughs> are preserved right guys so we'll see uh, how we can basically achieve this thing so let us quickly just start with a new model so let's make sure we are inside BIM workbench okay so now what we will do here is uh, let us just quickly create a wall first right let's create a new sketch and let's have a wall somewhere like this let's make this dimensions as equal right let's make this also as equal not a problem and let's make this length as let's say <coughs> around 6 feet should be okay right and then okay let's put some angle also here let's give angle constraint around 150 degrees cool now let's exit the sketch fine guys so we have the sketch of the wall select the sketch and then select the wall object so you have a quite good wall created uh, just for aesthetics sake let's give the height of this wall as let's say 6 feet cool so now what we can do here is let's create uh, put the window also so that we can quickly see the example in better form so let's have a window here uh, let's put it here basically on this plane uh, click on the window object and let's split it like place it like this cool so the window is cutting the wall object basically quite nicely so now what we will do is <coughs> we want to create a material basically so you go to manage inside beam workbench so here you have uh, material basically as an option so click on it right so let's start by creating our materials first what kind of materials that we need so let's say the first material that we need obviously the wall that we're creating is of bricks so let's say this is brick right and description if you want to we can you can give let's give the color let's give the color of the brick uh, maybe this one let's give this color click ok section color also let's give the same fine guys so we click ok so one material is created simply start so this is a brick material which we created right let's create a new material let's give this as cement uh, which is uh, which is used to plaster the wall basically but for the plaster also we'll have something else let's give it cement and let's give the color I think this gray color is sufficient it should be fine so click on OK let's repeat the process once again and let's give a new color let's say this time we're giving paint and the paint that we want to give this with this wall uh, let's say it's this one right and the section is also the same color click OK 
right so now we have created all the materials that we need in this wall but now you must be wondering what were the thicknesses so go to the material thing again so here you have an option which says create new multi material click on it let's bring this outside so that we can easily define let's put it somewhere here right guys uh, let's expand it okay so let's give the name of this multi material as let's say composite wall and now start adding thicknesses here the layers here click on add the first layer that we want to give is of paint okay uh inside we don't want so let's give like this only and then material we can select it from the material which have which we have created so the first material that we want to give is of the paint the outside material basically let's give it paint thickness we can give around 0.5 inches click on add again this new layer we can give of cement choose the material as cement basically uh let's give this name as 1 2 3 basically so as not to confuse the material right and let's give this material as this is cement cement thickness is also 0.5 inches add a new layer give it name of 3 let's add the material the in between between the material now which is of brick this thickness should be around let's say 4 inches let's add a new layer 4 again let's give it cement 0.5 inches and the last layer again for the paint and let's give a thickness of around 0.5 inches right guys so now you have created your composite wall with the materials which you had defined previously so the colors are stored there click click on okay now let's bring it here backwards so now the thing is how we can basically add that composite material to our wall object so there are two methods select the wall go to manage click on material and then select the composite wall click okay this is one method or other method that you can choose is click on the wall object in the data properties here you can see there's an option for material right simply click on this three ellipses dots choose composite wall click on okay right so you can see the material a uh, composite material is now added to your wall very well you can just try to hide your window also and you can see the material is very well neatly added to your wall without any issues right guys uh so this is it basically uh, in today's tutorial right if in case let's say you want to change the thickness going forward so simply double click go to materials in the tree in the tree browser in the composite wall double click on it and then let's say to the first paint uh, we want to give the thickness of let's say 2 inches right click okay so you can see the internal paint thickness is quite increased usually paint is not that much thick but just for example sake i have explained you right and now you can create sections for this wall as per your own need right so let's say um we select this wall we go to annotation we click on section plane right so this is beautifully cut from center along the bounding box and for this section plane you can do one more thing you can see here cut view as true so you can see the cut view for your composite wall right guys quite nicely uh let's not do this for now so now let's project this section basically select the section go to annotation and then you have the section view click on this so you have this created somewhere below uh in the placement in the position for the x axis 
we can make it around 20 feet cool guys so you have your section beautifully created the projection you can make this projection as let's say in the proje uh, projection mode you can click on cut faces so you can get the faces also very neatly just so that you want to see how your sections are basically defined right guys so this was it in today's tutorial I'll attach the sample file <laughs> with the description of this video feel free to download that and practice on at your own pace guys right let me know with your comments how you like it and what more you want to learn in FreeCAD right so that's all for today's tutorial if you like my tutorials like feel free to buy me a coffee there that really motivates and see you next video guys till then take care goodbye thank you so much